Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying comparing fractions. Our first fractions to compare are here, one half and one fifth, which is the greater fraction. And I drew some pie pictures here for you to help you. One half is here, one fifth is over here. So it's easy to see which one is more, right? One half is more. How about one fourth and one fifth? Now don't look at the numbers five and four and think that, okay, five is more, so this is the greater fraction, because that is not so. The opposite is true. One fourth is here, one fifth is here. One fifth is the smaller piece, right? Because when you divide a pie into five pieces or four pieces, each piece here is smaller than here. How about one eighth and one fifth? You have the pictures here too, one eighth and one fifth. One eighth is the smaller piece, right? And that is because you have divided the pie into more pieces, so each piece is smaller. And one half and one eighth, that's easy, right? One half is definitely more pie to eat than one eighth. Okay, over here I have four fractions and we're gonna write them in order from the smallest to the greatest. Which fraction of these would be the smallest fraction? You can look at these numbers, 6, 2, 3 and 9, okay? But the smallest fraction is not the one with the smallest number here. Instead, just the opposite works. We find the biggest number here, 9, so then 1 ninth is the smallest piece, smallest fraction. You can see it here too. This here is 1 ninth, right? And then over here, one sixth, and then one third, and one half. Okay? So this is the smallest fraction. One ninth. And then next comes what? One sixth. And next, one third, and lastly, the greatest fraction, one half. Here we're comparing two sixths and five sixths. Which one will be more? to eat if these were square pies or something. Let me show you. If I divide this into six parts, and this one too. Okay, if you want to color two parts here and five parts here, you will easily see that this is, of course, more, right? Here we have the same kinds of pieces, sixths and sixths. So you can just check how many pieces there are, two or five. And so five is, of course, more. Here we have the same situation, seven eighths, one eighth, okay? It's the same kinds of pieces, eighths and eighths. There would be seven eighths from here and one eighth from here. And so seven eighths is more. We have seven pieces and one piece and the same kinds of pieces. Over here, a little bit different situation again. Maybe our pie pictures will help us. Matthew, come on. Okay. See if you can draw us three fourths. Okay, and then we need to color. And then here the. Yes. And now the coloring three fourths and three fifths. Can you guess which one will be the greater fraction? We see three fourths is more, right? And you can figure this out without the pictures too. Think this way. Here we have fourths. Here we have fifths. We have three pieces and three pieces. But each fifth is a smaller piece than each fourth, okay? Each fourth here, one fourth is more than one fifth. So when we take three of those fourths, it is still more than three of those fifths. And you can do the same thinking here. Five eighths and five. 5 tenths. Which one will be more? These are different kinds of pieces, but there's the same amount of them. 5 pieces, 5 pieces. These are eighths, these are tenths. Is 1 tenth or 1 eighth more? 1 tenth is the smaller piece, right? 1 eighth is the bigger piece. So 5 of those bigger pieces is more than 5 of those smaller pieces. And you can see it also if you draw the eighths. Let's try and then over here, 
I don't need to draw the five tenths because it's exactly one half, isn't it? Five tenths is one half. And so coloring here, five eighths, like that. And five tenths would be here.